So in WWE 2K24, if you're wondering how to assign a super finisher, what you need to do is go into moves, go into finisher, and at the bottom of the screen, it will have a button saying assign super finisher. For this example, it is R2. Now, for whatever reason, you can only assign super finishers from finisher 2 to finisher 5. Finisher 1, you cannot actually assign as a super finisher. You can also do this for ringside finishers, only for finisher 2. Unfortunately, finisher 1 cannot be picked as a super finisher either in this scenario. Anyway, let's see what a super finisher looks like after it's been assigned in a matchup. Enjoy the video. Consider to be the greatest of all time, showing no fear as this match gets underway. I can't imagine why he would. John Cena has made a career out of rising above and winning. There has never been an opponent that he's backed down to, and, and I can't imagine he'll start tonight. Right, you are. Well, where's Cena going to go here? What's he going to do? I don't know. Oh, my God. Cena. No way. Second row. Attitude adjustment. This spells trouble for McDonough. And that's all she wrote. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner, the greatest. And this has to be a deflating loss for J.D. McDonough. McDonough can't let this loss get him down, though. Even though things didn't go his way, he came in prepared and dangerous.